person I want dead more. I have information, Elf, and I will trade it in return for my life. <laughs> the location of Daenerys. What good will that do me? I'd rather he lose his pet pupil. You have a sister. She is alive. You wish to reclaim your life? Let me go, and I will tell you where she is. We know you're even telling the truth. You don't. But I know Fenris. And I know what he's searching for. If he wants me to betray Daenerys, he'll have to pay for it. This is your call. So I have your word. I tell you, and you let me go. Yes. You have my word. Her name is Varania. She is in Carinus, serving a magister by the name of Eremon. A servant, not a slave. She's not a slave. I believe you. <gasps> we are done here. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. This could be a trap. Daenerys could have sent Hadriana here to tell me about this sister. Even if he didn't, trying to find her would still be suicide. Daenerys has to know about her and has to know that Hadriana knows. But all that matters is I finally got to crush this bitch's heart. May she rot and all the other mages with her. And here I thought you were unreasonable. This doesn't mean we shouldn't look for your sister. What else should it mean? Even if I found my sister, who knows what the Magisters have done to her? What has magic touched that it doesn't spoil? I... need to go.
I've been thinking about what happened with Hadriana. I took out my anger on you, undeservedly so. I was not myself. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. You are generous. When I was still a slave, Hadriana was a torment. She would ridicule me, deny my meals, pound my sleep. Because of her status, I was powerless to respond, and she knew it. The thought of her slipping out of my grasp now. I couldn't let her go. I wanted to, but I couldn't. That's more important than your promise. It's not easy to discover your principles are less noble than you believed. This hate. I thought I'd gotten away from it. But it dogs me no matter where I go. To feel it again. To know it was they who planted it inside me. It was too much to bear. Ah, but I didn't come here to burden you further. We're friends, Fenris. I'm not certain I know what that is. There's an elven woman here, Messer. She claims she was sent here by you. I, uh, I didn't know where to tell her. I've been wondering if I shouldn't remarry. I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home. But perhaps there is still life once your children have outgrown you. You've been through a lot. You deserve any joy you can find. Thank you, love. No one could ever replace your father. But it is refreshing to think I could still be courted at this age. <sighs> An elven slave? Make us breath, I hope you know what you're doing. If you need any enchantments, I'm sure... Greetings, mistress. Your home was difficult to find. I've never been out on my own before, but I found it. Many people know of you. I hope I've made myself useful. I've already begun cleaning and I can cook. Not as good as Papa, but a little. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? What sort of skills do you have? Not many, I fear. The Magister bade me to clean, and sometimes fetch, but Papa told me to keep out of her sight as much as I could. But I can learn. I'll serve you well. Please don't hurt me. You've been through a great deal. How are you feeling? I miss Papa, the other servants. I try not to think about what happened. I even feel sorry for the Magister. Is that bad? You served her a long time. I understand. I'll serve you just as well, Mistress. You'll see. It's a big mansion. It'll need lots of cleaning. Of course, Mistress. I'll do my very best. It's One day I'll see Papa again. Just so. What's this? Oh, and as manifesto. Again. Isabella seemed disappointed that she didn't find anything worth gossiping about. Snoop. 
I see Varric's taken it upon himself to add certain embellishments to my journal. One of the few things Orana owns. Uh, I think I'll let Sandal empty that. Elven slave? Make us breath, I hope you know what you're doing. I hope all is well, mistress. Oh, what a lovely estate you have here. Oh, is that right, Sandal? Nasty. Oh, I'm sorry I broke it. It's not a pretty home, but at least it's clean. I thought you might like this. You got me a gift? I hardly think I've done anything to deserve that. Is it a... That's a Tervinter Chantry amulet. Do you want me to get executed? It's sacrilege to wear those in any land under the Divine. The Divine condemned their Chantry because it freed mages from the Circle. I thought you might sympathize. I like it. Maybe not on the outside of my clothes. I'm not that eager to face the hangman's noose. But I appreciate the thought. I've never really thought about what life would be like in the Tevinter Chantry. In the Circle, they make it sound like the Void itself. The Black Divine stalking Fadus, making it unsafe for kittens and virgins. Mages have been free in Tevinter forever. It hasn't fallen yet. Well, they did invade the Black City in their hubris and unleash Darkspawn on us all, right? That's kind of the Circle's whole rationale. But I think that has more to do with being a Magister than a Mage. I appreciate the gift. Perhaps one day I can return one as meaningful.
all right. I'm just going to say it. Fenris, you need to present yourself better. What are you talking about? You're squatting in Hightown. I sympathize with your claims, but your neighbors have influence. My claims? To the estate. Rightfully stolen isn't exactly something I can forward to the Viscount. Be more discreet about... yourself. I shall endeavor to exist with less offense. I've got some news. You might not want to be near anything breakable when I tell you, though. Varric, whatever you have to tell me, it'll be fine. I know, I know. I've had an ear out for Bartrand. After the Deep Roads, he ran to Ravain, probably because he knew I couldn't track him. But I hear he might be back in Kirkwall. He called in loans from a few of his contacts in Hightown. Was he staying in Hightown, or just passing through? If my information is good, and it's always good, he has a house there. Which gives us a good shot at having a word with my dear sweet brother. How are you holding up, Varric? <laughs> Me? My no-account backstabbing brother is practically in arm's reach. I couldn't be better. Would Bartrand really risk coming back here? I think we both know by now that Bartrand would risk anything for money. There's a much better market here for that trinket he stole. And all his contacts are in Kirkwall. We need some answers from your brother. I agree. Bianca's been missing him something awful. Let's stop by his new house. Welcome him back to the neighborhood and all that. No, if you... Last bottle of the Egregio. I've been saving it for a special occasion. And what's that? The anniversary of my escape. Astia Valor Fermundis. Care to hear the story? I thought you avoided talking about this. Not on special occasions. I'd like that. Let's see. You've heard of Saharan? The Imperium and the Kunari have fought over the island for centuries now. I was there with Denarius during a Kunari attack. I managed to get him to a ship, but there was no room for a slave. I was left behind. I barely got out of the city alive. Denarius considered you valuable. <laughs> he wasn't given a choice. The look on his face as the ship pulled out was priceless. There are rebels in the Saharan jungles called Fog Warriors. They found me and took me in, nursed me back to health. I stayed with them for a time, until Denarius finally came for me. Were you with these Fog Warriors willingly? I grown fond of the rebels. They bowed to no master and fought for their freedom. It was beyond my experience. When Daenerys came, 
They refused to let him take me. He ordered me to kill them. So I did. I killed them all. Why would you do such a thing? It felt inevitable. My master had returned and this, this fantasy life was over. But once it was done, I looked down at their bodies. I felt... I couldn't. I ran and never looked back. Couldn't you have found other fog warriors? Become a rebel? Even if I did, I felt unworthy. I had no way of knowing if I could truly escape from Daenerys then. I didn't even know what that meant. I simply had to get away. I stowed aboard a ship to the mainland and moved south, chased by my former master every step of the way. I have to wonder why you stayed with Daenerys as long as you did. You have not been a slave. A slave does not dream of freedom or wonder at possibilities. You think only of your master's desires and what the next hour will bring. It did not occur to me that I could be anything else until I had a taste of it. But there are stories of slaves rebelling all the time. They did in Kirkwall. The ritual that gave me my markings also stripped me of my memory. Whatever I was before may as well have never been. Perhaps if I knew, I might have felt differently. How well did you know these Fog Warriors? I knew them only a few months, but in that time, I felt as if I truly lived. They were bold, strong, free with their affections. I was in awe of them and owed them everything, and I turned on them even so. Didn't Daenerys stop you? The rebels had wounded him. The soldiers he brought attempted to capture me, unsuccessfully. It was weeks before Daenerys was able to mount the hunt in earnest. But by then, I was already gone. This can't be easy to talk about. I've never spoken about what happened to anyone. I've never wanted to. Perhaps this is what it means to have a friend. Perhaps you're right. To you, Hawk. May I fight at your side for years to come. We should move on. I have tried to avoid the Fade since Justice. It's disturbing when he takes over. Point the way, Hawk. <laughs> 